Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the January inspired birthstone makeup tutorial. I'm very excited to continue on with this series. It's the first one of the new year and hopefully I will keep on doing this every single month. And next month is actually my birthday month, so I'm very excited to do that tutorial for you guys. It's been very requested for me to continue on with this series, so I'm going to finish it. This is one of my New Year's resolutions is to finish this series um, so I can, you know, move on to other series for you guys. But I don't want to start other ones if I can't finish one, you know, so hopefully I will keep on doing that. But it's this very pretty kind of um, dual toned, obviously the jewel birthstone um, inspired makeup look but it was very hard to make this like this um, birthstone because a red is a very hard color to pull off in eyeshadows without making you look like a vampire and you know sunken in and like your eyes are bloodshot or anything we do not want that hopefully you guys like my inspired look I couldn't do you know exactly red but hopefully this will, you know, do it for you guys. Without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. The first thing that you're going to want to do is apply a base so that these eyeshadows stay on all day long. And the base that I'm going to be using is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Just dropped it in Rust. And I love this one. It looks like this. And it's just a really pretty cranberry color. If you don't have this, then go ahead and just apply your regular eyeshadow primer, whether it be Urban Decay Primer Potion, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, anything like that, just as long as our eyeshadows are going to stay put. Now, this one is a favorite of mine just because it is kind of the same color scheme that we're going with. So that's the only reason I chose this over Urban Decay Primer Potion. But otherwise, then go ahead and use that. And to apply this, we're just going to be applying this towards our lash line, kind of like you're applying a thick eyeliner. So just line your eyes. To smudge this out, I'm going to be using my Sigma Short Shader Brush, which is the E20. Looks like this. And the only reason I'm doing this is that it's going to give a nice gradient effect because we don't want to apply such a harsh color, um, so crease cut with normal brushes like we usually do. So I'm just going to be kind of bringing this down and then also kind of bringing my brush up and dragging this shadow towards our crease. And because this look is inspired by the January birthstone, we're going to try our best to not make it look vampy um, as much. And it is kind of hard to do that um, using red eyeshadow and everything like that. You don't want to look so sunken in, but that's why we're doing the gradient effect. So this is the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using, and it's called Adrenaline, and it's by Rockin' Republic. This is what the eyeshadow looks like. It looks kind of orangey on camera, but it's this nice, pretty cranberry color. And you can use any other eyeshadow that you have. You don't have to use this exact color. And I'm just going to be applying this with my Sigma Eye Shading Brush, which is the E55. And I'm just going to do a nice sweep along the eyeshadow with the brush. Tap off any excess so this doesn't fall out all over our face. And then I'm going to be applying this right on top of the base. And I'm going to apply this right along where we first applied that line. So towards the lash line. Just gonna pat it and then any excess that you have still left over on the brush you can go ahead and bring it up further and just use a nice soft patting motion okay so the next eyeshadow colors I'm going to be taking is from my 120 colors palette from BH cosmetics and I'm going to be mixing two colors together so I'm going to be taking this flesh tone color right here which is a little bit on the orangey side and then I'm mixing it with this another matte orange color right so here. So I'm just going to be using my Sigma tapered blending brush and just dabbing it in the first color and then also dabbing it in the orange just a little bit and then tapping off the excess so that it's not going to be um, very pigmented. We want this to be a really light sweep, but the reason that we're doing this is so that it's not going to be, you know, from a red color to a highlight color. We want this to be a nice gradual fade. So this is kind of an orange color. So we're just going to lightly apply this right above our crease area, or right on our crease a little bit, and just use kind of a windshield wiper motion that's very light. And then the next shadow I'm going to be applying is with my large fluff brush, and then I'm just going to take this light matte um, brow highlight color right here. And you can use a shimmery color if you want to as well, but um, since we have shimmer down here, I just thought I would kind of even it out. So I'm just going to be patting this right below my brow. And then the next brush I'm going to be taking is my pencil brush, which looks like this. Any small brush that you have will be perfectly fine. And then I'm going to be using the color right next to it, which is 
a light, kind of a pinky color. It's a little bit shimmery, but um, not, you know, glittery or anything. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of that and then applying this into my inner corner. And this is just going to brighten up our eyes because when using such harsh colors, like I said earlier, as red and stuff, we don't want to make our eyes look sunken in and dark. And this is just going to brighten up our eyes. So now on to the eyeliner. I didn't want to take away from the eyeshadows because this is what we're focusing on. So instead of using a liquid or gel eyeliner, I'm just going to be using a cream eyeliner. And my favorite is the Ink for Eyes by Urban Decay. It looks like this. And it's perfect for this look. And this is in zero, by the way. So it's just a black. And it's perfect for this look because this isn't um, an everyday eyeliner for me because I like the very dark and in-your-face eyeliner, whereas this is kind of a light, less pigmented one. So, so I'm just going to be using the um, angled brush that comes with this to make it easier. And I'm just going to start lining my eyes. So we're just going to make a thin line and use short strokes. You can take your time with this step. And once you've outlined your lash line, then you can go ahead and decide if you want to stop there or if you want to add a wing. And of course, I'm obsessed with doing winged eyeliner and I couldn't not do it for this look, you know. So um, I just added a light wing. This isn't anything dramatic. It just kind of adds a little bit of volume to our lashes to make them look longer instead of applying false lashes. So go ahead and do whatever you're comfortable with, but I'm just going to go ahead and add a wing. Once you finish lining your eyes, then you can go ahead and curl your lashes with your favorite lash curler and then apply your favorite mascara. The mascara that I'm going to be using for this look is Benefits Their Real Mascara. It's a very good lengthening mascara, that's why I like it, and kind of makes the illusion of false lashes, but they're not super volumizing, so go ahead and choose whatever one you want. And also apply just a thin swipe to your lower lashes as well. And then once you've done that, then you are all completed with the eyes. So I'll zoom you guys out and we can go on to the rest of the face. Alright, so for the cheeks, I wanted to go with a matte color that would still go with the look, but obviously not draw your eyes away from that. So the one that I'm going to be using for this is called Pinch Me, and it's by MAC. And it looks like this. It's kind of just a nude, natural colored blush. And I'm going to be using my Sigma Powder Blush brush in F10 and I'm just going to add a nice light sweep to my apples of my cheeks and then working my way up. So the last step is to apply your favorite nude lip gloss or lipstick, whatever you prefer, and I'm going to be using the MAC Wonder Woman um, lipstick. How cute is this packaging? It's so adorable. And this is in Marquise Day and it's a luster. This lipstick is awesome because it kind of looks like Cream Cup by MAC, but it has that sheer golden hue to it. I don't know, it's really pretty and I'm just going to be applying this to my lips. And I almost forgot one step, this is kind of crucial, but you're going to want to apply the Cora's um, eyeliner, a black eyeliner, this is just the one that I'm going to be using, to your waterline. And now you look complete. I can't believe I forgot that and you guys didn't tell me. Thank you very much. Thank you guys so much for watching my January birthstone inspired makeup tutorial. Be sure to check out all of the videos in this series, including my December video, my August Peridot, and the September Sapphire. And stay tuned for the February Amethyst, which is my birthday month. So I'm very excited to do that tutorial. And hopefully I will continue on and finish all of the months, which shouldn't be too hard to do. But for some reason, I always like skip a month. So I'm going to keep up with this series, I promise. And I'm just very excited. So I will also link all of those in the series in the description box below. So you guys can go check them out if you haven't yet. But be sure to subscribe and comment. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!